trying to be the best at everything is a bullshit goal, and I'm going to tell you what to do instead. Trying to be the best is a bullshit goal. Now, <laughs> you may not want to hear that, especially some of you type A's out there. I can already hear the clicky clack of your fingers on the keyboard just begging to tell me that I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong, and you know it. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. It's a bullshit goal because there's always going to be somebody who has something that you don't have. That might mean they've achieved something you haven't, they've gotten recognition that you haven't, or if they have something else that you don't have. So striving towards being the best is ludicrous. It sets you up so that you can't win, no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try. This is kind of a lesson that I sort of learned the hard way, because I've always wanted to be the best. And that led me to thinking, if I'm not the best, why do I bother trying? If I can't be the best, why do it at all? But there's always going to be somebody that's better or has something that you don't have. But there's always going to be somebody who's ahead of you for this reason or that reason or has something that you don't have. So don't let that stop you from doing the things you want to do. It's just silly. So that leaves us with the question, if you're not striving to be the best, what do you do? The answer to that is you strive to become better. You need to stop comparing yourself to anyone but you. You take a look at what is your best and you strive to do better the next time. And when the next time rolls around and you're better, you strive to do better than that. If you're constantly improving your performance, sooner or later, what the goal that you would have had trying to be the best, you're going to breeze past it and not even know. <laughs> I know it seems silly when I say that, but trust me, it's true. This is one of those times when being a little nerdy and geeky tends to work in your favor. This is what an exponential growth curve looks like. Do you see that? That is what happens when you try to make improvements based on your past performance. You may not always hit the mark of constantly improving, at least not on that lovely curve that we have there. If you can achieve a little better, just a minuscule amount, that's going to have repercussions on every performance there afterwards. You do that and that's how you're going to really succeed. Stop trying to be the best and start trying to be better than you were the day before. Trust me, it'll work itself out. Stay with me, Rebels. We can do this. Please remember to share this video, click like, and comment, because all this stuff really helps me out. And if you're not sure what to comment, just answer the question of the day. It's right over there. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and get notified, because that is the way that you will not miss anything I put out. And don't forget, there's always links in the description to either other videos, things I talked about, or things that you just might find interesting.